What's up, y'all? It's your friendly neighborhood Seven Stripe White Belt, and today I had the distinct pleasure of rolling with Black Belt Hope Douglas, fighting under Cicero Costa in Sydney, Australia. This roll happened here in Paris, France at MK Team in preparation for the 2023 IBJJF European Championship. It's always fun rolling with people at her level because I get to see a lot of new things and really challenge my brain to solve the puzzles they present to me. We'll see her mostly play guard and use a lot of inverted techniques while I try to untangle myself and pass, so stay tuned. So she pulls De La Hiva and I try to step over her leg into headquarters, but she's able to off balance me and set me down on my hip. I assume she's gonna try to bolo me because of her collar grip and leg positioning, so I move my feet to the inside butterfly ashi position and threaten a straight ankle lock and then just stand up. Kind of just spin around because that felt like the right thing to do at the time, and I don't really know what's going on here with this leg entanglement, but I do see that she has that inside butterfly hook, and that's what I like to use for the ankle lock, so I don't know if she's actually gonna go for an ankle lock or if she's looking for bolo leg positioning, but I do feel that threat. But then she does start to bolo. She's doing one of those weird bolos that I don't know how they work. She's got the collar grip. She starts inverting. I know she's either gonna come up to like a leg drag or try to take my back here. So right here, I'm just trying to kind of untangle her leg. This is above my level of knowledge at this point, but I can sense that she's going for my back instead of a leg drag. So I just thumb post into her armpit to create enough space to untangle her legs and just come up. I think it worked or maybe she just let me do that. Who knows? You never really know with black belts. They're kind of sneaky like that. Anyway, she drops right back into De La Hiva and my immediate reaction all the time is to just go to headquarters and try to knee slide, but I'm having trouble stepping over her leg and she manages to off balance me again and we go back into this same sort of leg entanglement situation where I figure she's gonna bolo or come up, I don't know what, but I just underhook her legs, sort of like the positioning for an X guard sweep and we get close to the wall so I kind of drag her back to the middle of the mat so we can reset. And we're back in De La Hiva and I just stand up straight to try to break her grip so that she can't do anything. We both have a good laugh at that. Cause that was kind of a weird tactic. I don't know, I just made it up right there. Now, for some reason, I think it'll be a good idea to back step, but that just gives her a bolo. She's like a spider monkey. I'm just trying to keep her off me right now. Somebody please send help. Now, I'm just pushing her knee for some reason. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to defend this. I don't really know anything right now. I think we're about to get into like 50-50 leg positioning. Yes, she goes to 50-50, locks it up. And I'm trying to take her foot off of my hip and untangle that lock she has so that I can step out of it. I don't know what she's going for, but I do step out of the underhook that she had on my right leg. So right here, I reach back to get the leg off of me. And then I'm trying to pass right here, but she's getting that weird leg positioning again. I can sense she's gonna bolo. Yet again, I'm trying to untangle my legs and... I grab the collar, I come up, and I'm gonna look for a double underpass. I kind of sprawl so I can reach around with my right hand to grab a cross collar grip but she's able to pummel her legs and retain guard very well right there. And she comes back into a X guard positioning and off balances me forward. I just kind of drop forward like a sack of heavy garbage and wipe the sweat off my face. And then I grab her left leg and move it over to 50-50 and she does the same thing to my right leg and she's got a collar grip. I don't know what she's looking for, but I'm gonna try to stand up and again, untangle the leg from 50-50 so I can step through. But she grabs one of my lapels and starts wrapping it around both of our legs and then the round 